A Louisa family is asking for help after their loved one went missing Monday night. As we first told you last night, the last time Jacob Whaley's family heard from him was late Monday after his truck ran off the road during the storm. 8 News reporter Rachel Keller is live in the Digital Center with the latest on their search. Rachel. Deanna, Eric, family members, friends, volunteers, and even strangers head out today to search for Jacob Whaley after losing one of her sons in a car crash 20 years ago. Whaley's mother tells me she fears she will have to bury another. A desperate search for 34 year old Jacob Whaley. His mother, Shannon Whaley, today in tears. I don't think my son's going to be found alive. Whaley was on his way home to Louisa during the snowstorm Monday night when his truck went into a ditch. Whaley told his family he would walk the rest of the way, about six miles. His mom received a text from him at 846 that night saying, I lost. That was the last time she heard from her son. It's been too cold and too many hours. There's no way. It'll be a miracle. Whaley's sister Angela had been searching for a tow company when he stopped responding. We assume because it was dark and everybody's power was out because all of the trees were down that um, it was so dark he couldn't see where he was going. According to the Spotsylvania County Sheriff's Office, Whaley's truck was found on Mount Olive Road, which stretches into neighboring Hanover County. It's just important that he gets home. Loved ones asking for more help from authorities. They're afraid to say, you know what, I'll step up and find this man. They're preparing for the worst, but hoping for the best. With the way the weather has been, uh, he is definitely not going to be in the best condition. Family members say Willie did not show up for work this week and missed visitation with his son yesterday. He's described as 5'9 with brown eyes and has a long red beard. If you have any information about his disappearance, you're asked to contact police. Live in the Digital Center, Rachel Keller, 8 News.